take one. Go this way. We got some book fair going on. I do video announcements for the school, and um, we're going to put you and feature you on Friday. Perfect. Dr. Gearing, Good morning. welcome to Mustang Nation. I'm going to do a little interview with him. Very important question. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. What's your favorite ice cream? Rocky Road. Perfect. Right. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> oh, I just want to go everywhere, so we're just going to kind of, it'll be fun. We'll go down to the first grade. Would you like to see this too? How's everybody? Thumbs up? Everybody good? Somebody unmute and tell me what you're writing about. I'm writing about my last birthday. I'm writing about a dog. You guys are awesome. Have a great day, okay? Go do some good writing. Bye. <laughs> this describes Miss Erickson to a T and how she's embraced this year. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> good to see you. We'll come in. They're doing some writing. Writing about your feelings. What do you love about being in school? To learn. Yeah, the sunset, and then it's nighttime. Tell me about this phase. What's happening here? All right, good job. Can I pause real fast? I do have to brag. When we were phasing in our SRP team, we have three SRP teachers. I mean, they hands down took a huge leadership role. Yes, I was going down the wrong one earlier. What is your definition of renewable and non renewable? How are you deciding like, where they go? Renewable is something that can happen in a recent lifetime. Yeah, that kind of thing. And then a non renewable is something that takes a long time. Good scientist. <laughs> Good scientist. Sorry, I got starstruck. Dr. Dr. This is Miss Harvey. How are you? Okay, so. Hi, guys. Okay, so now I really want to see how you're doing this because I just saw them. Oh, next door in person oh, doing it. One? So I want to okay, see what you're doing great. with them. Our cattle, renewable resource or non-renewable resource? Us, cat, book, and bird. Yes, I agree with you. Huh. Cool, I like your thinking. That's awesome. It's funny, it's like all the dots everywhere. All the arrows. He said they're often found in what type of book, Levi? They're in non-fiction books. Non-fiction. That's what I really want you to understand. How are you? Hi. Hi. Good to see you, buddy. Patrick. I like how you put your mask on. Yeah. Awesome. Patrick's new to Mason, so he's been here for a few weeks now, right? Three, Three weeks? weeks. Dr. Gary, why are y'all visiting? You came to visit so that we can see what you guys are up to and what learning you're doing. Let's go. Let's Come go. On. You take us. Show us the way. Patrick, tell me what's going on. What are we doing on this? <laughs> why do you think the author wrote the book? Good work. Well done. What I noticed about being at Mason Elementary School this morning is the amount of writing that is happening in every classroom that we walked into. And that writing is forcing our students to think very differently about their learning. And it was heartwarming to know that that's a concerted effort and a very purposeful intention across the campus. So very pleased to see that today. But again, I'm struck by the personal stories that I hear about how people are managing this challenge of COVID-19. And everybody deals with it slightly differently and yet so effectively. So thank you, Mason Elementary, for the incredible work you're doing with our students.